walking out into the light. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. All right. Good day, South Carlton. Can you hear me? You know, I was thinking. It's been a long time since the walls of South Carlton have experienced the energy of a regular school day. Are we at risk of forgetting what it used to be like? I mean, honestly, some of you have never experienced a regular high school day. Well, you know what? I think it's time to make amends. In this week's episode, we're going to walk the halls of South Carlton as if it were a regular high school day, back in the golden olden times of 2019. In order to do so, let's meet our fictional student, name, Sammy Charleston. See what I did there? SC. All right, Sammy, introduce yourself, please. All right, so it appears that Sammy was up TikToking the Twittergram last night and was late for school. So he's got to go to the office. Here we go. Good morning, Sammy. Come on in. Glad you came to visit me this morning in the office. As you know, I have a miraculous memory and I greet everyone with a smile. So, uh, sorry you had to wait so long in the lineup outside the office. I don't know what was going on, but last night I'm sure everyone was doing some extra TikToking or something. Uh, what makes you late today, Sammy? Did you have another little sleep in? Oh, well, you know the routine. Can you message your mom or dad and have them give me a call so I can confirm that you signed in late? And in the meantime, I'll get you a late slip so you can get off to class. Oops. There you go. There's your late slip. See you later. Oh. And Sammy, don't forget, have a wonderful day. Oh no, I gotta get to class. Mrs. Jenny Oli's probably already started. Morning, Sammy. You're late. Did you get anything for breakfast today? We don't have any penguins or Nutrigrain bars left because the vultures were out this morning. We do have this delicious apple though. And or some gummies. You know what? Thanks, Miss Amanda, but I'm good. I gotta go to class. I'm late. Ah, uh, welcome, Sammy. Okay, so you're a bit behind, but in Mrs. Jenny Oli's class, no one is ever left out. All are welcome, all the time, literally, because room 16 is in the most traveled hallway at South Carrollton. Anyway, today we're working in actual physical groups with real life people. I know I've arranged our desks right in this format. So to allow for this, this conversation to happen. So you're going to be discussing all things geography, right? And working collaboratively. Um, now you may end up socializing outside of the coursework from time to time, but I'm okay with that. Because remember, Sammy, geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. Have fun learning, Sammy. Oh, love geography. That was great. Don't tell anyone, but during class, we talked with friends about television shows we watch, about people we have crushes on, and what we did on the weekend. Scandalous. Okay, now off to period two. Oh, do you smell that? It smells like they were cooking in foods class. I am starving. Oh, hey, Madame Stainer, what's cooking? Hey, Sammy. No, actually, we're making chicken parmesan for the seniors group in the community. No, there aren't any leftovers. No, you can't have any. But yes, you can sign up for foods next year in French or in English. See you later. Sammy, how you doing? I've been expecting you, come on in. Uh, good to see you, I'm Mr. Dales, this is SST, welcome. Uh, what's that? Uh, Mr. Pettigrew said what? He said you might have a hard time trusting me because I'm a Bruins fan. Let's not forget that Mr. Pettigrew is a Leafs fan. But let's let's forget about that. You can go ahead and get uh, seated at the back and get set up with your work. I've got a few other people that I'm working with. Um, I'll be back to check on you in a few minutes. And, and don't worry, we'll make sure that we get you that credit. 
Boy, Mr. Dales is a great teacher. Too bad about that Bruins thing, though. Well, thankfully, I guess he's a little more Bergeron than Marshawn, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, what am I going to do at lunch today? Um, intramurals? No, that was on Thursday. No, and, and I think that uh, actually my volleyball tryout meeting, I think that's on Friday. Okay, I think I might head to the calf. Oh, maybe I'll even buy a big cookie. All right, let's head to the calf first, see what's going on. Okay, folks, I've walked past this table three times and there's still garbage all over the table. And who's half eaten sandwich is this? I'm not touching it. It's gross. How could it not belong to anybody? Uh, it's Jim's, but he left. It's definitely not mine. Well, I don't know whose it is, but it needs to go in the garbage. Look, <laughs> I'll even bring the garbage can over for you so you can put it in yourself. Yeah, no, nobody leaves here until all the garbage is cleaned up and the tables are clean, okay? No, you can't sweep it onto the floor. I know they did that over there, but it doesn't make it right. Oh, so many restrictions in my life. I'm feeling teen angst. All right, I think maybe I'm gonna check out the library. It's a soothing social sanctuary and it's gotta be better than this. Oh, actually, why are all the grade nines clogging up the halls? Oh, and look at those two making out. Can't they go to the stairwell like normal people? All right, let's check out the library. Hi, welcome to the library. I'm Mrs. Donovan. What can I do for you today? Oh, hold on one second. Excuse me, you have to finish your lunch in the Oasis. There is no food or drink except water allowed in the carpeted area. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. So what are we up to today? Did you want to join your friends in the Jackson room or are you going to borrow a Chromebook? Oh my goodness, it's almost 1130. Bell's going to go any minute. So you better take that Chromebook to go. Do you have your student card with you? What? Already? Oh, I forgot there were more than two classes a day and each one was less than four hours long. Oh no, Madame will be so mad. Ah, oh, bonjour, Monsieur Charleston. Bienvenue. Je suis content de voir en classe aujourd'hui. Sorry, uh, I was just... Ah, ah, ah. En français, s'il vous plaît. Sortez vos feuilles d'hier et on va commencer. Finally. Only one more class to go. Okay, off to English. I know it's been a long day. It's 50 degrees in here, and so it still has its original 1952 air conditioning, which means that it has done. I know, I know. I think it has to do something to do with the ductwork or the lack thereof. Anyway, I think I have a good day planned. Let's take advantage of the weather. We're going to meet another class and go outside for a poetry discussion. Let's head to the back to the bleachers, and we'll split up into groups from there. Oh, what an exhausting day. I can't wait to get home. What do I have on again tonight? Oh yeah, I got basketball practice at the school until four, and then I work from six to nine. Oh, and I think I have some English homework. What a crazy busy night. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Uh, is there a bus that runs to Stittsville? Oh, how can I not remember this? Okay, I gotta go to the office to figure this out. The city bus? Sammy, oh, they stopped running that a couple years ago but we can certainly offer you to use the office phone. Or if you have a friend that you can get a ride home with, we have forms that you could fill out. Kara, do we have to have that stack of paperwork? I have the paperwork, but if you wanna do that, I'll need the forms yesterday. Oh, sorry, Sammy. Ah, uh, life as it was in 2019. You know, they say nostalgia is a seductive liar. Anyways, there were back then, there were lots of rules and things weren't perfect and it was too hot and it was too cold and we could never get home from school. But you know what? Things were good and I, and I miss it and I hope we get back there again. All right, let's stay in the present now and move forward to our announcements. Take it away. Dylan right here again with this week's announcements. Attention grads, if you haven't submitted your community service hours, please get them into guidance as soon as possible. All students require 20 hours to graduate and it's June, so things are getting pretty tight for you. Also, all grads have been sent a Google form that is full of helpful information. Please read as action is required. This form asks for information to be used in the commencement video, so please complete the form as soon as you can so that we can make the graduation experience as good as it can be. 
On a separate note, congratulations to grade 12 student Zoe Takax, who has, who has submitted an article about her International cert, cert, Certificate Program experience, also known as ICP, to the Manatic Messenger that is being featured in the current issue. You should definitely go check it out. And, w and well done, Zoe. Finally, a huge congratulations to Aria Mann, who has been awarded the Lynch Getty Student Award by OCNet. She was chosen as one of only four recipients across the OCDSB, so this is quite an honor. Congratulations, Aria. Well, that looks like all for now. Back over to you, Mr. Pettigrew. Thanks, Dylan, and thanks for helping out these past couple of weeks. We really appreciate it. Okay, let's move on to this week's photo challenge. Let's stay with the regular school grind theme and take pictures of things that remind us of the olden times. Remember that alarm clock you wanted to crush every morning? Remember waiting for the bus and looking down the road and having an existential moment where you contemplate your existence when you see that there's nothing there and it's probably not coming anytime soon and you rush for nothing. Remember that? What about that lunch your mom made that you never had an intention of eating? Plenty of options, so take a picture, send them in, we'll remember together. All right, well, I think that's about it for this week's episode. Keep on making good news. Everything's gonna be all right. Thank you.